Open the pod bay doors, Tom. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What would you do with a brain if you had one? Do? Why, if I had a brain, I could... Miles per hour. I could wire away. 46, 56 degrees. Good deal. Um, yeah, uh, the thing is that I worked up in Glacier National Park for, gosh, uh, seven years. And uh, Montana has the majority of all the grizzly bears in the United States. Uh, there's about oh, 30,000 grizzly bears, and no, I'm sorry, 50,000 in the entire North America. 30,000 of those are in Alaska, 15,000 of them are in, uh, uh, 15 to 20,000 are in Canada, and there's probably about 1,800, 2,000 of them all in Montana. So we dealt with uh, grizzly bear attacks probably once or twice a year. Mm -hmm. uh, bears are an interesting subject. They're, uh, you know, you mentioned bear, and all sorts of images come up. I kind of put different images up here, people. You know, we all think about our little teddy bear, you know, and then there's the, the ferocious <laughs> grizzly bear here, and mama and the black bears here, et cetera, et cetera. And we're just giving you a really quick one-two, uh, uh, what to do if you're attacked, or how to, act. the biggest thing is how to prevent it from happening to begin with. Most of the time, it's, it's people doing dumb things out there. Next. Are we good? Next. There we go. Uh, no, that's the last slide. <laughs> Let's go the other way. <laughs> so, uh, but the point of this is basically, uh, uh, either there's a chance of being killed by a bee than you do a bear, okay? One in 2.1 million, uh, that's your chance of being struck by, uh, being uh, attacked by a bear. Uh, your, your chance of being greater being hit by lightning than being attacked by a bear. Um, bears are, uh, again, uh, the uh, polar bears, which are up here, and there's about 50,000 polar bears in the world. They're all in the Arctic Circle, uh, from Norway all the way around. Uh, they actually do hunt man for food. Uh, polar bears consider people prey. And if, anywhere you, if you're ever up in, I was up in Barrow one time up there, and everybody walks around with shotguns. Because uh, a, a, a grizz can, uh, not grizz, but polar bear will take you off and they'll never see you again. Uh, below that area, uh, this is all grizzly territory here. Uh, again, uh, pretty much dominating Canada, Alaska out here, parts of Montana right out here, parts of Idaho, that area there. Uh, and then the black bear is all these gray areas. Black bears are, oh my gosh, here, over here. Uh, we have them down here in Louisiana. Florida's got black bears in the Everglades. All over the East Coast and the Appalachian Trail, that area there. All through the, the Great Lakes states, all that area. And all these parts of Canada. Black bears are everywhere. Oh, and actually there's more attacks by black bears than there are by grizz, mainly because uh, people are not as intimidated by black bears. All these think black bears are weenies, whatever else. We have more attacks by black bears than we actually do grizzly attacks. <clears throat> Next. Bears love <laughs> the stuff that we have on us. Uh, bears are predictably unpredictable. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God, we have a bear. It's a bear with Converse tennis shoes. But anyway, uh, it must be a really fast bear. Uh, but they love our food. They love our, uh, uh, the way our stuff smells. Their, their sense of smell is 10 times greater than a dog's sense of smell. I mean, they can smell stuff miles away. This stuff is packaged pretty well, but bears have learned that, gee, uh, if humans can eat this good stuff, it's got packaging around it, but if I bite into it, it tastes really good. Believe it or not, deodorant. Anything that's aromatic, uh, deodorant. Not necessarily axe. It could be band or whatever else. I'm not promoting this. Whatever else. <laughs> Don't use axe, okay? Um, uh, how do you feel about axe? <laughs> okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, but anything aromatic. And, and, again, when you go to bed tonight in bear country, if you're sleeping out, whatever else, you don't want anything that's aromatic. Uh, no deodorant. No food. No toothpaste. No baby powder, I mean perfume, all those things bears will come into your tent for. It's just crazy what will happen there. Right? Good deal, good deal. Next. Uh, the key is when you're in those areas is to you, store your food properly. Uh, we hang bear bags. We'll, we'll make sure we find the right tree that is so far off the ground. Uh, make sure it's far enough from the base. And you hang up all your aromatics, all your Gatorade, 
all your food. It has to go up in this bag, bag at night. So uh, this is a good example here also of some. The Park Service has bear boxes, and these are permanently mounted in the ground. The bear cannot get in this under any circumstance, period. <laughs> you don't like those, do you? No, I got you. <laughs> Next. Um, again, the good thing is, now this person here, she's cooking her food. Yeah, the bears, got, they're going to smell it. She's got a sriracha. She's got everything else out there. But she has some good bear containers out here. And she's what she's going to do when she gets done with this, she's going to package all this up, put this in this, hang this in the bear bag, and go from there at night. Uh, one company, this thing here sells for like $79. Uh, it is the ultimate, it, <laughs> no bear can break into these. Put all your food in there, and then you screw these tops down. And it's all metal. And no bear can break into this, but I can't imagine packing that in somewhere. But uh, that's the extreme you have to watch out for sometimes. Next. And this is what you don't want to do, okay? You don't want to hang your bear bag above your tent. <laughs> Not a good idea, okay? I just Because the first thing they do, and I've seen them do this, they come in, they see the bear bag, and the bear comes crawling up, they try to crawl underneath it, you know? In this case, he's going to be crawling over you while you're sleeping in your little tent. Uh, <laughs> Uh, also over here, um, this is how I've seen people leave before they go to bed at night. They leave all their stuff out, and you can guarantee that a bear is going to be coming to their camp at night. Guarantee, no matter what. Black bear, grizz, or whatever else. Next. Uh, when you're hiking, I mean, the biggest thing to do is, I'm a, you know, make noise. Uh, when you're hiking along there, always be, don't ever be in a daze while you're hiking in bear country. Uh, I want to walk around, and every, 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 10, 20 feet, go, hey bear, hey bear. <laughs> he may run away or he may say hi to you. <laughs> Might say hi. Okay, good deal, good deal, good deal. So, I mean, I did this, this is what I like to see him do. I doubt you'll see this, but anyway, but make noise. That's the biggest thing is when you're hiking in bear country, Montana, Idaho, Washington, those areas, make some noise. Next. And traveling groups, okay? Bear, the, 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 just, just last uh, August, a, a solo hiker was killed in uh, Glacier National, I mean, I'm sorry, in uh, Yellowstone. He was doing everything correctly, making noise, doing everything correctly, and was attacked and killed by a bear. And a female, female killed him. And uh, uh, she, it was a defensive attack, so they actually put the bear down. But it was, uh, bears are predictably unpredictable, like I said earlier. We think we know a lot about them, but they still will... You can do everything right and still get killed by a bear. Again, in the United States, there's about, oh my gosh, two fatal attacks a year uh, for, for uh, bears. Next. Um, you know, uh, bear bells. <laughs> if you're any of the Alaska, Montana, Idaho, those areas there, uh, you'll hear a lot of these. I'll never forget one time I was in, I hiked out this place called Iceberg Lake in Glacier National Park. It took me all day to get there, serene, quiet. I was by myself, and all of a sudden I heard what sounded like Santa Claus coming down the trail. <laughs> this woman had over 100 bear bells on her. And she was so scared. But again, this is what they call, they call these dinner bells, hiker hamburger hellos, and afternoon tea alarms uh, in Alaska. So, uh, uh, the, the, all the studies that show us uh, bear bells don't necessarily keep us from getting attacked by bears, but they, uh, um, but the bear does take notice. They tend to kind of listen a little bit. If they hear bells, <laughs> but they don't tend to run away. So, uh, so I'm not sure if they're actually uh, you know offering the deterrent that we need to. We found it better to be every few hundred feet stopping, going, "Hey bear, hey bear." Uh, hey, how you doing? You know, a buddy of mine sings a song when he's hiking in bear country. Just letting the bear know you're there. They don't like the way we taste. We don't taste that good to bears. I think one out of 10,000 bears actually thinks uh, Grizz actually likes the taste of human meat. I mean, we really don't taste that good. Uh, I don't know if we're not marinated well enough or not, but we, so they tend to avoid us. So that's what, just make some noise and be out there. A bear bell is better than no, nothing. Very good. It's better than nothing, but um, you know, uh, make make some other noise. Next, and you know, be alert for signs of bears. Uh, these are grizz tracks over here. Uh, if you kind of notice the uh, 
how they, these they actually end their claws. The further the claw is away from the actual toe, that's pretty much a classic sound of a grizz. Notice over here, this is black bears over here. You don't see any really claw marks there. Every now and then you build, but these, these are classic uh, grizz trail. Look at, look at this human foot here, look at the size of this bear foot here. So not a good, not a good sign there. <laughs> Next. Uh, it's stuff we don't like to talk about, but it's out there. This is a classic bear scat. This is a bear poop, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is quite a, the grizzly bears be a combination of berries, meat, and other vegetation. Uh, black bear is almost all vegetation. I mean, this is seeds, berries, green stuff, everything else. You see this stuff around, gee, maybe, uh, you know, you need to be kind of wary. I don't you need to freak out and go, oh my God, bears here, we got to leave now, you know? A lot of trees, you'll see with claw marks on the trees, okay? Bears like to rub against trees. They also know that, gee, certain humans hide food in this tree a lot, so I'm going to try to climb this tree a lot, okay? So if you see this, probably not a good tree to hang your bear bag in. Uh, and maybe, not, maybe I shouldn't camp here because bears know this area pretty well. Next. Next. Uh, the key is one thing that we teach in the park service is be prepared. Uh, carry any bear spray with you. And don't carry the bear spray in your backpack. I need to have the bear spray right here. Uh, oh, oh God, there's a bear. I've got to be digging through my pack trying to find it. Somebody's going to be in bad shape today. So you need to make sure that you have your bear spray ready. Uh, the cans of this stuff run about 50 bucks a can. It's pretty expensive. It shoots about, the bears don't like it either. It uh, runs about, the spray's about 25 to 30 feet away. Uh, you have to hit the bear right in the face. You have to hit him right in the face to deter him, okay? 91% of bears are actually turned away and then run the other way if they're hitting the face of bear spray. We don't use this as a, you don't spray around your tent the night before you go to sleep or something like that because it actually brings bears in because it's kind of a cayenne pepper spray. But, uh, but you have to hit the bear right in the face with the bear spray. Next. And again, again, that's, that's kind of what you'll get out of it. And just right in the face, you've got a nice little stream there. And it should hit him in the face, and they should go running off, <laughs> running off in the woods. The, uh, uh, let's see if I have some other bear spray in here. I think I have some non-toxic bear spray in here. Let's see if we do or not. So, so what are, uh, so a lot of times bears, when you see them, and I've actually had the, I've been encountered by a few bears, they, uh, Especially in Glacier National Park, they, uh, put my stuff through here. There go. <clears throat> uh, you come up on them. Uh, and one thing bears are not, they're not animals of stealth. When they come through the woods, they're like a truck. You hear sticks cracking, branches breaking. It's not like a mountain lion or something like that. They're very, uh, they're very loud. Uh, and I, I thought I heard one coming in. Next thing I saw her, she probably, between me and here, was up in Montana, big, nice, big female grizz. And the first thing you want to do is don't run. Everything in your body says run. Okay, but you've got to, you've got to go against everything your body says and stand your ground. <laughs> don't yell at the bear. That's the sign of aggression. Bears will actually sit there and growl, tell who growls the loudest. And so I, I'm not going to, hey bear, how you doing? Get away from me, bear. Okay, so she was a grizzly. Black bear is a little different ball game. Uh, the other thing is I don't want to smile at him. Why would smiling be a problem? Sign of aggression. I see those teeth, that could be a sign of aggression. So don't smile. Hey bear, how you doing? Okay, that's not a good, not a good thing, okay? They'll also they'll do what's called bluff charging. So they'll actually, uh, how will they do it? <laughs> and if I run, what's gonna happen? He's gonna shake me like a cat does a mouse. So do not run from bear. Stay in your ground. Again, everything in your body is saying run, okay? But you've got to stand your ground. Stand your ground. Um, and then how you basically, I mean, so if I got my bear spray handy, I'll pull up my belt. Oh, don't drop it on the ground. <laughs> and, uh, hey, you know, and, and talk to the bear. You know, hey, bear, how you doing? I kind of look around here and make sure the cub is behind me. If the cub's behind you, you, it's your worst day, guys, okay? <laughs> if it comes behind you, you're going down. I'm sorry, mom's going to come right through you. It's amazing how protective she is over her cubs. So make sure she's up behind you. Keep your backpack on because that may be what's protecting your back. And, uh, hey, Bear, how you doing? 
uh, kind of, and look down. Don't look him directly in the eye because they see that is also a sign of, of aggression. Hey, Bear, how you doing? I know. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, if they keep coming at you, you know, you might want to aim your spray at them. And just, you know, but don't start backing away. If you do, you need to watch it. Be careful. But basically, so, okay, Bear, get away. Get away. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's a bad can of bear spray there. That's a horrible can. Again, normally it shoots about 25 or 30 feet. So, uh, and then hopefully that, that's the, the last you see that bear today. I'm going to that area, though. They are creatures of habit. Next. Um, and it's depending on the type of bear. If it's a black bear, uh, make its loud noise, yell at the bear, scream at him, bang a rock on a pot. They're whole different. These are whole different species, and they react differently to different things. So, uh, you know, I mean, I've thrown stuff at black bears. I've yelled at them. I've banged rocks on pots and everything else. So just do whatever you got to do there. Uh, be prepared to use your bear spray. Don't climb a tree. Bears are the most amazing climbers you've ever seen. They can out climb you, <laughs> swim you, run you. They, they can do everything better than you can, okay? So uh, hold your ground, and if the black bear attacks, fight back aggressively. Uh, fight like claw, tooth nails, or whatever you gotta do. Next. Grizzly, a little different animal. The, uh, you know, avoid direct eye contact, kind of look down, don't smile at them. Back away slowly, okay, you need to make sure the cubs aren't behind you. And the, the bear charges, the, you're talking about an 800 to 1200 pound animal charging you, which would be my worst nightmare. You're not gonna outrun it, leave your backpack on, because again, that may be what's protecting your back. Uh, don't scream or yell at the grizzly bear. Have your bear spray ready and be ready to use it and know how to use it. We've had some people use it and they pointed at themselves, they shot themselves in the face and it's a horrible scene. So anyway, so make sure you know how to use it also. There is a time to play dead, okay? Uh, with Grizz, they don't see us as, as food. So typically it's a defensive thing. You've gotten near their fresh kill, you've gotten too close to your cubs, or you were jogging down the trail and you came up on them too fast. They're going to react defensively. So it's important to, uh, again, if you are attacked, if they are attacking you, play dead. Face down, mm -hmm. on the ground, have your backpack on, cover your neck with your, with your hands, and pray for your lucky day. Here's the exception to that. If the bear starts eating you, okay, which you'll know, okay, that is your, you've got that one in 10,000 bear. That's, uh, they, they sees people as food. So uh, you need to fight like there's no tomorrow. So a couple bites, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it's, it's gonna feel good, but okay, this bear is like reacting defensively. I'm gonna lay here, not be a problem. But if they start to take a bite ahead of you, start chewing on it, uh, you've got the wrong bear. So you need to fight like there's, you need to fight like there's no tomorrow. No tomorrow. So uh, again, in Glacier National Park, we dealt with one to two bear attacks every year. And typically it's people doing stupid stuff. Uh, jogging down the trails, not packing their food correctly. Uh, they know a bear was on a trail, so they wanted to go get a picture of the bear. Th things like that is what we kind of dealt with. Next. And this was the last slide we showed earlier. Put it in perspective, you're in their territory, we need to do things differently than we normally do when we're camping. And uh, your chances of getting killed by a bear or attacked by a bear are less than being stung by a bee, okay? Uh, and lightning, you have a higher chance of getting struck by lightning than actually attacked by a bear. They're beautiful animals. Uh, I've seen them many times from afar. Uh, I've been close to them before also. They're gorgeous. They're, they're amazing animals. But, you know, they're, <laughs> they're bigger than us and <laughs> they're a little higher on the, the food scale than we are. So be careful of that. So this movie is a... Uh, Interesting movie. I remember when I was in the park service when this all happened. Uh, Timothy Treadwell pushed so many buttons with so many people about his approach. He thought he was the bear whisperer. He thought he knew how to talk to bears. And uh, it was a big controversy when he was at Cat May. I just was up at Cat May uh, the month of April and, and talked to some of the same people who dealt with what happened here with Timothy Treadwell. The footage you're going to see tonight is absolutely stunning. There's, I've never seen this kind of bear footage. Uh, in terms of video, what you're going to see right now. But the guy, don't, don't do what this guy did, okay? That's all I'm going to tell you, is don't do what he did. And if you follow what I was telling you, 
uh, you'll be okay. If you ever go to Glacier National Park or parts of Idaho or up in Alaska, the Park Service, the Forest Service, they'll tell you exactly how to make sure that you don't become a high risk for a, a, a bear attack. So that being said, watch out for bears. <laughs> <clears throat> Questions? Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't make me get the bear spray. Yeah, give a special round of applause for the bear. That was my nephew. That was my nephew. I talked into that. So.